Good evening. Uh, I want to show a little more progress on the, the Whitcomb Bladell lathe. Um, got the uh, gear train back in one piece and um, wanted to highlight some of the um, features on it I thought are kind of interesting. Um, this lathe is, is built kind of like your standard tool room lathe and that you have your headstock and then you got a uh, gear train coming off the end of the spindle that comes down into a quick change of your box and then onto your lead screw. Um, this, this lathe does have a lead screw and a, a, a feed um, a screw. Um, the way it does the quick change is a little bit different though. It doesn't really have tumbler lever, level, tumbler levers. It has this uh, selector mechanism right here. And so you have essentially three selectors to, to set your, your gear train feed. Each, uh, each of these levers here and here has two positions. So you're going to go in or, in or out. And they got little detents to kind of hold them in place. Um, but then the the bulk of your your feed is going to be set with this dollar right here, and uh, you see your chart there tells you what to do. But each uh, you got essentially eight different positions here that you would reach by turning this this knob in and out. Now originally, this, this is not the original handle, it looks like at some point that handle was broken. And um, you see that this handle was replaced as well as the bracket here, so I'm, I'm guessing that assembly was broken or something. But I think it originally had a, like a little uh, sl dial that would tell you which position you're in. Um, at this point you kind of have to do it by feel. You kind of go from one end and kind of count the different engagements over until it's uh, the right one you're, you're after. Um, so I, I want to make a new dial for it so you can actually see which which gear you're putting it in rather than just having to do it by, by feel. Um, but it's an interesting design. You see it, it's got this kind of a gear rack there and it kind of pulls tube out. And that tube goes inside the gearbox. There's a two two cone cones of gears in there. One of them, that, that selector shaft has a key on it. So as you move it along, it sets which set of gears is engaged at a time. So it's interesting, it's uh, it's fully enclosed, it's kind of nice. Um, even the uh, the rest of the gear train here is, while it's not sealed by any means, it's a lot more enclosed than a lot of other gear, or well, a lot of other lays I've seen. Um, coming over here to the uh, carriage, this is the, it comes to assembly wise, um, the last little bit of assembly I gotta do is on the carriage here, there's a couple of pieces I have to finish up for the, the feed right here. Um, there's got a couple star knobs that go here and that's how you set your, your feed for your, your carriage and your cross slide as well as you, you have a half nut um, here. Now this lathe doesn't have a threading dial at least um, I haven't been able to find a place for it to mount it either which I find kind of interesting um, and make it really hard to, to thread. I know that there's different methods of, of doing it they're probably a little more complicated, but they can keep you going. Um, but one thing I do find interesting is this, right over here where the uh, the feed comes out of the gearbox, um, it's got this boss right here that nothing mounts to. And none of the pictures of, uh, like some of the factory um, pictures I've seen online show any of the lace having anything there. Um, this little collar here, you can move, and most ones I've seen have it a little further down, but essentially it's, it's a stop that you can set to keep your your tool from running into your uh, your headstock there. Um, but the interesting part is this gear for your, your lead screw here, it's loose. It's got a key on it, but you see it slides in and out. When it's out, it's not engaged. And so I'm wondering, because it's got this little rib that goes around it here, and that with this boss and looking at some of these other ways that they would do this kind of sliding gear mechanism on the rest of the lathe i'm wondering if there was some maybe an optional attachment they had for this that you could disengage your lead screw perhaps at the end of travel so perhaps it had some kind of plunger here that you could adjust so that whenever your carriage came and hit that plunger it would slide the gear out and disengage it now if you're actually threading 
and you're trying to you, you've got to pick up that thread on for another pass that's going to kind of mess you up because you have to keep that lead screw keyed in with your, your headstock till the end of your thread and so i'm wondering if maybe the lack of a traditional um, threading dial might have actually played into this missing mechanism over here that perhaps there was another mechanism that you could kind of line up your uh, that gear with the rest of the gear train and perhaps even something else with the rest of the carriage here so that when, when it disengaged that would of course stop it from threading but then you could bring it back over reset everything set the the dial back in place and take another pass um, still not traditional but perhaps it was just a way they kind of merged a couple of functions together um, but that might be a, a fun project to try to create something like that but um, probably more likely is at least in the in the short term I'm going to see if I can get the uh, specs off of the, the lead screw there and try to see if there's another lathe out there that had the same pitch same diameter lead screw and uh, my assumption is, is that if I can find similar lathe the same same spec lead screw that it has perhaps a more more common threading dial I can mount that on the side of my carriage here and get me get me threading um, but anyway I'm still kind of researching that that possibility the ability to thread on this is something that well, I won't thread all the time. I, I really can't without a threading dial, at least the, in the traditional sense. So, anyway, that's kind of where it's sitting right now. Um, so with the exception of getting the, the drive system put back together above it, I'm down to uh, getting that little bit done on the carriage there, and then getting the, uh, the, lay that's, or excuse me, the, the leg that's broken at this other end welded back together. Um, but in the meantime, you can see the lathe is already starting to get junk piled on top of it. Um, but progress. There we go.